it's Ray Beach and it's a beautiful day in January and we're going to talk about all things ocean and mindfulness with Claire Walsh, Boy Ambassador. Claire, tell us a bit about yourself. A little bit about myself. Well, I'm a Boy Ambassador and have been since 2019. Um, a lot of people might know me as a free diver, which means I hold my breath underwater. But in my day-to-day -day life, I live by the sea, I swim in it, try to swim in it every day, and I spend as much time as I can near it, in it, or under it. Wow, that's a lot of time. <laughs> yeah. And what is your relationship with the ocean? How does it make you feel? I don't know if there'll be enough time to even cover that, um, but I think, you know, I was writing something recently, and for me, the sea feels like home. Yeah. The sea feels like home. It feels like coming home. It feels like stillness and comfort, and I'm very respectful of it, because it can, you know, change, but the sea, yeah, it's home. That's what it is. It's home. I've been really lucky. I've done so much traveling for free diving. When I go away and I see those crystal clear waters, yeah, it's nice, but I get really homesick for Irish water. Oh, okay. It's a little cold. bit rougher, it's colder, uh, it's a li little bit more raw, but my God, it's beautiful. So that's what certainly the Irish sea is for me. It's unique, for sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And explain to the audience about free diving, for those who will know. Yeah, so free diving is the sport of holding your breath underwater. So it can be measured in three different ways, in time, in distance, and then in depth. And I think that's where a lot of the free divers, where they're passionate, because that's done in open water, and that's done lying on the surface of the water, holding your breath, and going down as deep as you can, and back up on one breath. Wow. And what, what do you feel when you hold your breath for that long? What does your body go through? You know, is it... Timing, is it terrifying? Like, yes, okay, all of those okay. things. <laughs> it is, like, there's no doubt there's, you know, an element of it being exhilarating, um, exciting, terrifying, but there's also really amazing stillness. And if you have a good dive, you get a dive where things just line up and work, it is absolutely incredible. It is so still, um, you feel connected, mind and body, um, it is just such the most amazing culmination of feeling. And I always think it's the closest I'll ever get to the flight. And how does breathwork you know, benefit you on a day-to-day, out-of-the-sea kind of living? You know, does it have its benefits? Oh, 100%. And so, you know, I free dive. I yeah. love to free dive. I, I spend free time planning my next trip, but a lot of the time I'm here in Ireland. Um, and you don't just forget those skills. For me, the idea is to you know, take those skills and apply them to day-to-day -day life. And a lot of what I teach is how we can use different techniques that are used in free diving to benefit our day-to-day -day life. So for me, a lot of that comes down to having an awareness of how you breathe, um, so kind of conscious breathing, and how we can use that to ground ourselves, uh, create a better body awareness, and combat any sort of anxiety or stressful uh, situations that we encounter from day to day stuff. Obviously, that spectrum can be quite big, but I think taking a couple of minutes every day, and I'm talking about three to five minutes every not day, is really not too much to do. For me, I put on uh, a piece of music, uh, or I listen to this, and just, you know, uh, spending that time in that moment, in your breath, in your body, mind, exactly, uh, present. Um, that's probably one of the biggest gifts and skills that I've kind of cultivated from free Amazing. So you will put on maybe wave music and yeah. listen to it? I don't sound wave music. I come down oh, here. Wow. Even better. <laughs> I get the real thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. And they say that when the water moves back and forward, it could be like our lungs taking in the breath. And, you know, if you can mimic it, so with the flow. Exactly. Just There's a it. natural rhythm there that's yeah. accessible to us. And again, you know, that kind of idea of stressful breathing that we might be familiar with is short and shallow, quite quick. 
But if you listen to the yoga with a very natural rhythm and start to follow it, it will naturally just slow down. And it, you know, it, you know, it, it's right behind me, but it has such a calming and soothing effect. And like that, it's just correct. or you're, you're panicked or nervous about something, can you share some tips that people can do in, in that situation that can be done quietly that doesn't draw attention, you know? Yeah, I, I, and I'm laughing because one um, example comes straight to my mind. So, you know when you log on to a Zoom call and it says, you know, you're in the waiting room and you're waiting for the host to let you in, you know, whether it's an interview or a meeting or whatever it is, I always get that, oh, it's starting, it's starting, it's starting. So you just feel, you know, your heart rate quicken and I get a little spike of nerves. So for me, I always try and take that moment to just bring it down. So I breathe in through my nose and make sure that I'm switching breathing into my nose, that I'm breathing low into my body and I'm breathing slowly. So I just use a little bit of a count to make sure that breath is slowed down. So as I do this, I try to feel the seat underneath me, the back of the chair, how my hands are. So I'm putting myself back into the space as opposed to going up in my head, is my camera on, what, you know, that, that kind of spiraling thought. It's the opposite, just trying to come back into my body, feeling the arms of the chair, or feeling my breath in my body, whatever that kind of tactile cue might be, to remind the breath to come lower and slower into the body. And then the host lets you in and you're fantastic. <laughs> lower month so certainly kind of my own to do list is to just stay a little bit more grounded stay out of my head and to find those pockets of calm throughout the day and then build upon that mm -hmm. so whether that's coming down for a walk going for a swim doing um, a couple of minutes breathing just you know adding things to my two five that will help my mood my stress levels and then go about my day so just dotting them my day to bring stress levels down a little bit. Perfect. This has been really informative and a great day out. Thank you so much for your time. If anyone wants to find out more about Claire, where are you on? So they can find me on Instagram on Claire Walsh Life, at Claire Walsh Life or ClaireWalshLife.com.